you love cookies. In this Brookhaven mini-movie, it's Daisy's last day on planet Earth. She is taking her spaceship to Mars and can never return. When Molly finds out that she will never see her sister again, she decides they should have the best last day ever together. But will Daisy actually leave her sister forever? Watch to the end of this video to see the sad ending. And guys, don't forget to slam the like button on this video and comment below. We read all of your comments, guys. Ah, so on a vacation. It doesn't get better than this. No school, no homework, no teachers, no Sarah. <laughs> yep, summer vacation sure is amazing. Mm. Not to mention all the snacks. Mm. Doritos, Reese's, donuts, <sighs> and all of my favorite shows. <sighs> this box is so heavy. Uh. Dizzy, what are you doing moving out? I don't think I'd be so sad about that. Whatever, Molly, you miss me. You really would. Uh-huh, sure. Mm. Okay, let's see. I could pack some waffles. Yeah, they'll last a long time. And I could also pack... Oh, I've got a cake. I could put that in here. Daisy, wh what exactly are you doing? Oh, yeah, I could make burgers. And I could take some soda. And yeah, that would be good. Daisy, why are you taking all the food out of the refrigerator? I need that, you know. Molly, you could always go to the store in a few days and buy more. I don't have that luxury. Daisy, what are you talking about? Why do you have a box labeled food? Are you trying to steal all that food and put it in your room so I can't have any snacks? You know how I feel when you eat the last egg of waffle. Molly, I'm sorry, but everything's fine, but I can't talk right now. I'm very busy. Daisy! What? Daisy, what are you doing? Molly, everything's normal. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's see. I've just got to look up how to purify water. What? You can do it through a sock? Ew, gross. Well, maybe it's a clean sack. Daisy! Okay, something really weird is going on with my sister. I mean, maybe she's just prepping for summer camp or something, but I don't know. I, I don't think our summer camp is till August. Something really, really weird is going on here. Okay, well, I'm just gonna follow her. That's what I'll do. I'll follow her, and I'll sneak up, and I'll eavesdrop on her. See what she's doing. You have to be really quiet. Wait, she not in there? Where is she? Oh, wait, there she is. She's in the spare bedroom. What does she have? Go away. Molly, stop following me. Go away. Seriously, you made that sign as I was coming up the elevator? Yeah, Molly, I knew you were gonna follow me. And I'm busy. Stay out. Okay, fine. Rude. I know she's up to something, and I'm gonna catch her. In the meantime, though, I'm gonna go swimming in the pool. Okay, where's my bathing suit? I've gotta put on a really cute bathing suit because Luke might be coming over later, and we might be going swimming. But I'm gonna go swimming until he gets here. What about this one? Oh, that's pretty cute. This is super cute. Uh, um, no, but this not, I don't want to wear that one. Let me see. Oh my gosh, look at this monster outfit. <laughs> That's adorable. Where are all the bathing suits? I can't find them anywhere. Okay, this is super cute. I'm wearing this in the pool. It's adorable. Okay, my parents just put in a pool last summer, and it is amazing. I love it so much. Ah, <sighs> this is the life. Summer vacations are pretty much amazing. Hmm, this donut's really good. Even if it is a little soggy from being in the pool. Molly, what are you doing to eating a donut in the pool? What are you doing with it? An axe? Daisy, why do you have an axe? Well, I asked first, why do you have a donut in the pool? Because I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. I don't care if the donut gets wet in the pool. I still want to eat it. You're going to get frosting in the pool. Ay, ay, ay. Sometimes I don't even know how you're my sister. Daisy, wait. Come back here. What? Where are you going with that axe? Daisy. Daisy? Where'd she go? She is acting so Weird. All right, that's it. I'm gonna go find out exactly what she's doing. Daisy? Daisy, where are you? In your room? Daisy? Daisy? W w what's going on in your bedroom? Oh my gosh, Molly, this is my secret lab. How'd you get in here? Oh no, I must have left the door open. Hey guys, do you want to go to the park with me today? What? Nutty buddy, how are you in here? Oh my god, everybody's gonna know about my secret lab in, in Brookhaven. This is horrible. Uh, I think Nutty Buddy left. He's not really interested in a secret lab. He just probably wanted to go get ice cream with Nutty Buddies on it, of course, because those are his favorite. That's why his nickname is Nutty Buddy. Whatever, Molly, get out of my room. Get out of my lab. I'm busy. Daisy, seriously, what is going on in here? I mean, I knew you wanted to be a scientist and everything, but look at this place. Molly, I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I created a spaceship. What? You did? Yeah, Molly, and well, um... <sighs> I'm going to Mars. What? No, you're not. Don't say that. We have school in two months. You have to be here for it. You'll be back in time for that, right? <laughs> this is just like Mars summer camp. No, Molly. Once you go to Mars, there's no returning. What? 
What are you talking about? It's a one-way trip, Molly. I leave tomorrow morning. But... But, Daisy, we're, we're sisters. You can't just leave forever. Molly, this is what scientists do. I'm sorry, but this has been a lifelong dream for me, and, and I have to fulfill it. Daisy! But, 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 but I'll never see you again. We have today, Molly. We have today. And then I'm off to uh, learn about aliens and 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 Mars and, and all sorts of really cool things. It'll be a totally different life than here. I know, but here is a good life. Brookhaven, us, our family. Molly... I'm sorry, but this is what I want to do. Can't you be happy for me? Okay, I, I guess I'll try. We still have today, Molly. It's my last day on planet Earth. Let's make it the best one. Now, come on. What should we do first? Um, well, we should probably start with ice cream. <laughs> Since you won't be able to eat any on Mars, that is. Good idea, Molly. Let's go. Last one to the ice cream shop's a rotten egg. <laughs> She's always the rotten egg. Whatever, Molly. You're the stinky one. Hello there. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm um, real good. Although it looks like Brookhaven's going to get a giant storm. Oh, no. Don't tell me it's going to flood again. Well, there are some pretty dark clouds out there. It's probably going to flood. Oh, man. I don't want my ice cream shop to get flooded again. <sighs> what can I get for you? Um, hmm. Oh, my favorite. Mint chip, please. Okay, one mint chip coming right up. Mm, that's delicious. And what about for you? Birthday cake, please. Ooh, delicious. Well, enjoy it, Daisy. It's your last ice cream ever. Why? Are you dairy intolerant? <laughs> I have some dairy-free sherbet if you like it. Ew, sherbet could never compare to ice cream. Well, it's all we have for the lactose intolerant. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> dairy is pretty wonderful. No, I'm not lactose intolerant. You see, it's my last... Well, you wouldn't understand. I just can't have ice cream anymore, okay? Um, okay, well, enjoy. Oh, excuse me, are you gonna pay for that? Oh, yeah, pay. I forgot about that. Here you go. Thank you very much. Enjoy your ice cream. Come on, Daisy, let's go sit over here. Our favorite booth. Daisy... Are you sure you want to go to Mars? I mean, I think everyone here in Brookhaven's going to miss you. Yeah, right, Molly. You're my sister, and I annoy you always. I don't think um you're going to miss me at all. Correction, Daisy. I might miss you a little bit. Wow, Molly, really? Yeah, but just a little. Hmm. Best ice cream ever. I couldn't agree more, Molly. Mine's already gone. Well, do you want a second one? I mean, it is your last day at the ice cream shop. Forever? Nah, I don't need a stomachache when I'm on the spaceship tomorrow morning. Last one to the slide is a rotten egg. Molly, enough with the rotten eggs already. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Molly, now you smell like a rotten egg. Ew. Sorry. Ha ha, I get to go first. Whee! No fair. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, that was so fun. We should do it again, Daisy. One more time, Molly. Then I want to play hide and seek. I don't know if they like playing hide and seek on Mars. Good point, Daisy. They may not. Whoa. And you won't have a sister anymore to play hide and seek with. Maybe the aliens will play hide and seek with you. <gasps> Maybe you could teach them how to play hide and seek. Good idea, Molly. That could be the first game I teach them. Okay, Daisy. Who wants to be it? Not me, Molly. Okay, fine. But how about we have a rule? You could only hide somewhere in downtown. Because you only have so many hours left and... Well, you know, I I, I, I want to be able to find you before you leave on your spaceship. Good point, Molly. Okay, go count. And no peeking. Okay. One, two, three. Should I peek? I really want to cheat. <laughs> Four, five, six. I better not cheat, though, because it's the last time she's playing hide and seek, so. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Daisy, where are you? Okay, I can't find her anywhere. I wonder if she went into one of the stores or something. Daisy, are you in the fountain? You'll never find me. You'll never find me. Like, guacamole. She's... Wait. Wait a minute. Does that plant have feet? Daisy! I found you! Oh, man. I should have hit battle. I thought maybe you wouldn't find me, but my feet have grown like 10 inches in the last year, so they stick out of everything. <laughs> you do have big feet, Daisy. No no offense or anything. Molly! Hopefully the aliens have big enough shoes for your big feet, because you can't come back to Earth to get new shoes. <gasps> Good point, Molly. I need to pack an extra pair of shoes. Wow. I'm getting hungry. Again, Molly? We just ate that ice cream like two hours ago. Don't you want to have a diner feast before you go to Mars? Ooh, that does sound good. Daisy, what if all they have at Mars is like slime and ooze and green goo? But I guess I'll have to learn to like slime and ooze and green goo. Ugh, gross. Well... If it's good enough for the Martians, it's good enough for me. Hey, honeys. How are you doing today? Well, 
it's it's an okay day. Oh, you sound really sad and down. What what's wrong? It's my sister's last day on planet Earth. What? Seriously? Oh my god, you're gonna die? I'll be sure to come and leave flowers for you at the Brookhaven Cemetery. No, 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 she's not gonna die. She's just a famous scientist and she's taking her, her rocket ship all the way to Mars. Molly, it wasn't supposed to tell anybody. She's just a waitress. She, she won't tell anybody, right? Molly, she's gonna tell every customer that she's ever known. Well, there's no other customers in the diner right now, so we're safe. You'll be gone by the time another customer comes in. Wait a minute. You're gonna be gone really soon. Daisy, are you sure you want to do this? I'm sorry I'm trying to interrupt here, but if you want to eat before she leaves, I really do need your order. Okay, I'll have a burger and a soda, please. Me too. Sounds delicious. Wanna have a full tummy for my ride? Okay, sounds Sounds good. Coming right up. Daisy, I, I, I hate to admit this, but you're my sister. I love you. Don't go. Molly, I'm sorry, but I have to do this. Science needs me. It's it's my fate in life. But what about being my sister? What about that fate? Molly, I'll always be your sister, whether I'm in Brookhaven or on Mars. Daisy, I don't want you to go. Don't go, Daisy. Please. Daisy, don't do this to me. <laughs> Daisy, please don't go. <laughs> please don't do this to me. <laughs> Molly, everything's going to be okay. You're a tough girl. You're going to be all right without me. But will you be all right with me? I'm um, sorry to interrupt, but here's your order. Enjoy. Okay, here's your tip. Just leave me alone, okay? Okay, no need to be grumpy. Sorry, it's just my last minute with my sister on the planet. <sighs> well, Molly, you should eat this burger. It's really good. Daisy, aren't you sad? Um, Molly, I'm a little sad, but I'm mostly just excited. I'm going to Mars. I'm going to Mars. Gonna meet some aliens. That's the last Coke you'll ever drink. Ooh, yeah. That is super sad. Really? You're gonna cry about the Coca-Cola? But you're not gonna cry about me, your sister? Uh, well, uh, 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 Daisy! Well, Molly, it's about time for me to go. I hate to say goodbye, but... Goodbye! Daisy! What? Wait, uh, Daisy! I, I did... Daisy! Wait a minute! Okay, fine, Molly. What, what is it? I'm not good with goodbyes. Daisy, I know we haven't always got along, but I really love you as my sister. Molly! I really love you as my sister, too. I've been trying to stay completely positive about this trip, but the truth is, I'm gonna miss everybody in Brookhaven. Yeah, but you have to go to Mars. Like you said, it's your fate. But you don't have to. You can stay here. No, Molly, I have to go. Now turn around. That way you don't have to watch me leave. Okay. Goodbye, Daisy. Goodbye, Molly. Goodbye forever. Daisy? Wait. Daisy? Daisy! <laughs> well, here goes nothing. All my work as a scientist is finally led up to this. I even made a special helmet that would allow me to wear my pigtails. They're my signature style. Hee <laughs> hee. Whoa. A little bit of turbulence here as I leave Earth's atmosphere. This is crazy and amazing. Ah. <sighs> Little does my sister know that I packed all the Doritos in the house. Well, I guess she could go to the store, and I don't think there's a Dorito store on Mars, so, you know, I needed them. It's been one whole day since since Daisy left, and I just I don't even know what to do with myself right now. I guess I could go to the diner and get some lunch. That's what she would want me to do. Okay, maybe not, but that's exactly what I want to do. Excuse me, can I get some service over here? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just came on for my lunch shift. What's wrong, cutie? Um, can you not sit on the counter? Well, I'm trying to sit on the chair, but it won't let me. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, you have to pull the stool out before you sit down. Uh, you really are having a rough day. I'm having a horrible day. <laughs> What's wrong, cutie? Oh, wait a minute. Now I remember. Your sister left for Mars, didn't she? Mm, this donut's delicious. Hey, are you giving me some lunch or what? Sorry, I had to work so late last night and then someone called off, so I had to work a second shift and I'm just really tired. I need like so much coffee. Here you go. How about this for lunch? Well, I don't even think I'm hungry. I just miss my sister. We would eat here together all the time. Well, cutie, your life has to go on even if your sister's not here. I guess you're right, but I want to live without her. It's going to be okay, Molly. Just try going through your day like you normally would. Okay, well, I'm not really hungry. Well, that's a first. You really must be depressed. Totally. Oh, yeah, I could go down the big slide. My sister and I love doing that together, and I could still do it on my own. Here goes nothing. Ugh, that didn't seem very fun. Oh, wait, I know what I need to do. I'm gonna run over here. 
perfect. Last one to the slides, a rotten egg. <laughs> I'm going to beat everybody. I beat you. Wait. There's no one to even beat to the slide. There's no one to, to tease about being a rotten egg. It's just it's just me. Alone. Without Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy, are you... Are you up there? I know you're somewhere amongst the stars. I miss you, Daisy. But I know you're living out your dream as a scientist. I hope the Martians are nice to you and... I'll miss you forever. I'll miss you always. You'll always, always be my sister. So you see, if you want to play hide and seek, you have to go hide somewhere. And then I try to find you. If I find you, then I win. I don't know. Sorry, I don't speak alien too well yet. Do you speak a uh, human yet? Oh boy, I really miss playing hide and seek with Molly. <sighs> okay, let's go over this again. First you hide, then I find you. <laughs> Okay, class, I'm mostly happy with your report cards this quarter, but there are a few of you that I'll be seeing in summer school. You'll know who you are when I hand out these report cards. Now, I want you to take them home and have one of your parents sign them and then bring them back to me tomorrow so I know that they've seen them. No funny business. Show your report card to one of your grown-ups and return it to me. Does everybody understand? Yes, Mrs. Smith. I can't wait to get my report card, Pookie. I'm sure that I got all A's. Um, Daisy, I think you're the only person in Brookhaven that's excited about getting your report card. <laughs> I work really hard for my good grades. And besides, my parents usually give me a present if I do really good. Like, I get to have ice cream every day for a week or something cool like that. Whoa. Your parents sound so cool. Here you go, Daisy. Here's your report card. <sighs> I, I don't even know what to say. I know, right? I am doing amazing. Uh, you really should look over your report card before you say that. <coughs> Ugh, report card day. Oh, I hate report card day. I, I, yay, 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 yay. Oh, Daisy, you always get the best grades. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You're the best. Blah, 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 blah. Um, Molly, you know, if you actually did your homework, you'd probably get a good grade. Blah, blah, and also blah. Hey, wait a minute. Do my eyes deceive me? I got good grades? Holy guacamole! I never saw this one coming! <laughs> I'm getting ice cream for a week from my mom and dad. Okay, class, like I said, make sure you have your parents sign them and return them to me tomorrow. Oh, man, I'm going to end up in summer school. How about you, Brookie? How'd you do? Mostly B's and one A. Great job. Well, did I hear you say that you got really good grades? Yeah, look at this. Whoa. Those are really good grades. Yeah, I know. My mom and dad are going to be so impressed. I can't stop smiling. My face is frozen this way. My first good report card, like ever. Daisy, are you coming inside? Uh, no, I'll be in in a minute. Uh, the stomach's a little upset from that weird lunch that lunch lady served us. I need some fresh ale. Okay, well, meet you inside. <laughs> Wait till I tell my mom. Mom! 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 What is it, Molly? Oh my gosh. You look like you won the lottery. Better! Mom, we got our report cards today and... Oh no. Here we go. How many bad grades, Molly? Guess. Um, five? No! Six? Mom! I don't know, Molly. How many? Zero! Wait. What? Yeah, Mom. Look at my report card. Oh, ace! Molly! This is amazing! Oh, oh, oh! Mom, why are you fainting right now? Because you've never gotten a good report card ever in the history of ever. I'm so proud of you. I'm gonna buy you ice cream every single day for a, a year. Whoa, Mom. <laughs> you don't want me to like get, you know, like diabetes or something. 
No, no, no. But for a week, Molly. Any kind you want. For a whole week. Yay! Thanks, Mom! Where's Daisy? Uh, she said her tummy was kind of upset. <laughs> I can't believe I failed almost every single class. Uh -oh. What's wrong with me? I got some good grades on my test. Oh, the teacher hates me. I can't show my mom and dad this report card. They think I'm an ignoramus. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll hide my report card. I'll sneak in the back door when no one can see me, and I'll put it under my mattress, and no one needs to know about this. And then I'll work extra hard to get better grades. <sighs> oh, I hope your sister feels better. Yeah, she said she ate something weird at lunch, and she just wanted to get some fresh air. Oh, well, I can't wait to see her amazing report card. Well, since mine's so amazing, guess I don't need to study tonight. I'm going to watch TV for three hours. Well, Molly, you do want to keep your award-winning streak going, don't you? Of good grades, good grades, good grades. Uh, Mom, I think I deserve a night off. I think you do too, Molly. Just relax. I'll make your favorite tonight. Okay, just, just act normal. Act normal. Wipe this frown off your face, Daisy. Uh, by favorite, you mean favorite thing for dinner? That's right. How about pizza or mac and cheese or bean burritos? Mac and cheese sounds delicious, Mom. We haven't had that in a long time. Hi, everybody. What you watching? Oh, hi, Daisy. How was school? Is your tummy feeling better? Yeah, I just needed some fresh air. I'm fine now. Uh, honey, where's your report card? You're usually so excited to give it to me. That's the thing, Mom. Somehow, there was a giant gust of wind when I was outside, and it blew it away. It got lost. Wait, what? You lost your report card? The most important thing to you ever? Yeah. <sighs> At first, I was freaking out, but then I was like, it's okay. Mom and Dad know I get great grades anyway. Well, she does have a point. I guess I trust that you got great grades, and I don't have to worry about it. Oh, yeah, that's why mom don't even worry about it. <laughs> I always get great grades. Daisy, something seems kind of fishy about you. What? No, it doesn't, Molly. Go away. Fine. Mom, can we have that mac and cheese now? Sure, Molly. I'll start making it. You relax, my super smart daughter. How'd you get such great grades? You are totally ignoramus. Daisy, rude. What's gotten into you? You're just jealous because I'm smart now, too. But I'm not jealous, and you'll never be smarter than me, even if your report card said you are. Why, are you saying you got a B on your report card, huh? 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 No, of course not. I got all A's. Now get out of my face, please. Whoa, she is so grumpy. Mm. Mom, this ice cream's great. Molly, I don't think I meant that you could have ice cream for breakfast. Well, you didn't specify, so... Oh, so tired. Need coffee. Whoa, Daisy, you're up really late today. What's going on with you? Like, you always get up way before me. I was up all night studying. I'm exhausted. Honey, that's not good. You shouldn't stay up all night studying. You need sleep. Yeah, Daisy. Maybe you should just eat some ice cream. I don't deserve ice cream. What? What are you talking about? Of course you do, Daisy. You're a great student. But tonight I want you to go to bed on time. It's not good for you to be up all night studying. Yeah. Now do you want some ice cream or not? No. I just have a piece of fruit. And then I'm going to take a nap on the school bus. Oh, must get good grades. Must get good grades. Mm. Why don't you try what I do? Don't study and don't do any of your work. Then you'll get a lot of A's. Molly, that's so annoying. I don't know how you pulled that off. But, but, I don't think it's right. Um, maybe because I'm a genius and I don't need to study. Ugh, that just figures. Don't be too jealous, Daisy. Mm. This is delicious. Oh, girls, the school bus is here. Better get going. Bye, Mom. Your genius daughter will get more good grades, I promise. Okay, honey, have a great day. You too, Daisy. Oh, uh, yeah. How to I? Come on, Daisy. We are about to go to the school that certified me as a genius. 
<sighs> Could you be quiet, Molly? You're driving me crazy. Okay, jeez. La, 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 la. Oh, these girls were eating Cheetos in their beds again. Oh, now I'm going to have to take the bedding all off and vacuum the mattress. Ay, ay, ay. I've told them not to eat Cheetos in bed. What's this? Daisy's report card? Underneath her mattress? <gasps> she failed all of her classes? She lied to me! Oh, M G. That's it. Sounds like I need to take a trip to the school. Daisy Acker, please report to the principal's office. Daisy Acker, please report to the principal's office immediately. Uh-oh! Whoa, Daisy, you're getting called to the principal's office. I wonder why. You've never been called there before, ever. I don't know, but something tells me this isn't going to be good. Well, good luck. I've heard of people going to the principal's office, and they never return. <laughs> Thanks! That doesn't make me feel freaked out of anything. You're welcome. Mom? What are, what are you doing, Kiyo? <laughs> Let's see. Today I was cleaning, and since you were eating Cheetos in your bed, I had to tear apart your bed, and look what I found under your mattress. Daisy, did you hide your... Your report card from your parents? I'm disappointed in you. I, I will, um, I... That's what I thought, Daisy. How could you? And you're failing all of your classes? What? Ugh, you're grounded for an entire month. And you will be studying extra hard. Well, I can't really study any more than I already am, ma'am. I already feel like an ignoramus, and I didn't want you to think that I was. <sighs> oh, honey, you're not ignoramus. Maybe we just need to get you a tutor. I mean, I do see that you're working hard. I don't understand why all your grades are so bad. Wait a minute. There seems to be an error in our computer system. Daisy actually got all A's. Wait. What? I knew there had to be something wrong. I'm a great student. Um, so there's just been a mix-up here? Yes, but unfortunately your mix-up here is with your other daughter, Molly Acker? Yes, what about her? She's the one with the failing grades and is going to have to attend summer school. Apparently they mix them up because they're sisters. Oh my god, Molly! You're the one with the failing report card! And to think, she got to eat all of my celebration ice cream! Daisy, I would definitely not celebrate yet. What? Why, ma'am? Because you lied to me, and you hid your report card. You still are grounded for a week. Oh, I never get grounded! I'm the golden child! Well, not anymore, Daisy. That was very naughty. <laughs> uh, who wants to break the news to Molly that she didn't get all A's? <clears throat> um, yeah, not it. You're the principal. You tell her. Oh, poor girl. She's going to have to do summer school. Well, that's what happens when you don't do any homework. It's time to get up. Come on, you're gonna be late for school. No, no, I'm not going to school today. Tell him, tell him I, I quit. Molly, <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Come on, Daisy, you're usually out of bed. No, not today. She doesn't want to get up today. No, I'm not getting up ever again. I'm so tired. Uh, is it summer yet? What's wrong with you, girls? You've been this way all week. Come on, get out of bed. No, can't cat. Ugh, okay, fine. I'm gonna go get your mom, and she'll probably have a bucket of water, and she'll dump it right on your head. <laughs> good one, Dad, good one. Daisy, 
I dare you not to move. I dare you not to move. Dare accepted! of school. Yeah, ma'am. Is it summer yet? No, girls. You still have another month or so of school before summer vacation. Now get out of bed, please. Nope. Can't do it. Oh my gosh. Here I come with a bucket of water. I don't care. I'll just have a water bed. <laughs> really? Ugh. You girls are so frustrating. They won't get out of bed for me either. Wait, what? This is like, uh, how many days in a row now that they won't get out of bed for school? This is so unlike Daisy. Yeah, I mean, Molly's always been kind of a troublemaker when it comes to going to school, but not Daisy. Uh, I don't know what to do, Laura. These girls have got to get to school. Hmm, I have an idea. Come here, Dan, and I'll whisper it to you. Okay. Really? You want to try that? I definitely do. This is going to work. Come on, follow me. <laughs> Molly, we should probably get out of bed now. Ooh, what now? I'm thinking all day I can sleep in here. Molly, it's like one o'clock. We have to get up. Besides, uh, I won the deal because um, I stayed in bed the longest. What? No, you didn't! <laughs> See, you got out of your bed. But you're already out of your bed! Whatever, Molly, we both know I'm the winner. No, you're not! Whatever, I'm gonna go get some cereal. Ah, we didn't have to go to school! This was fabulous. Molly, wait for me! Oh, you took the elevator before I could get down there. Hey, wait a minute, Where, where's Mom and Dad? I don't know, maybe they're in their office or something. I didn't see them in their office. O-M-G! We have the whole house to ourselves! Mmm. That's very good. Mmm. Molly, you're actually eating an apple? Yeah, I am because I'm so hungry. Molly, there's waffles in here. You should eat that. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Molly, I kind of want to go to school now. I mean... I don't want to be late and get detention again tomorrow. Well, you're already late, DZ. It's like one in the afternoon. Yeah, but click, 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 click. Um, I, I'm going to get detention and I, I don't want to. Well, you're already late. Yeah, but if I don't show up at all, then I'll definitely get detention. <sighs> Fine. I'll call mom and see where she is and see if she'll drive us to school. It's ringing. Well, Molly, what, what did she pick up? No, she didn't answer. Let me try her number again. Oh my gosh, Daisy. It, 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 it's making the noise that her phone is disconnected. Well, try dad, try dad. Oh yeah, good idea. Is it Geek? No, his phone is saying disconnected too. What? A parent's? Did they, did they abandon us? <laughs> Don't be silly, Daisy. Don't be silly. But Molly, we, we've been so naughty and we haven't gotten out of bed for school. And, and, and now they're not here and the phone is disconnected. When have they ever just left us and not made us get up for school? Wow, you're right, Daisy. I'm going to go to their room and see if their suitcases are there. Good idea, Molly. Good idea. Daisy, you check the bathrooms. Why, Molly? Because Dad had enchiladas for dinner last night, and he might be in there. <laughs> Molly, I don't think so. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check in their closet or their dresser or whatever. See if their suitcases are there. What? Their, their suitcases are, are missing. Yeah, Dad's not in the bathroom evil. Okay, let me check the family safe. OMG! There's only $100 left in here. <gasps> Molly! They took the rest of the money and left. Her parents abandoned us. It's all because we were being naughty and wouldn't get out of bed for school. Ah! Daisy, don't panic. This could be good. I mean, we could do this. We could we could be 
adults, right? No, Molly, you're the worst adult on the planet. You never get out of bed to do your chores or your homework. And you don't even have a job. We can't even afford Eggo waffles anymore. <laughs> okay, think, Molly, think. Think, think. How can I get Mom and Dad to come back? I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll just turn on the TV and watch that. That'll help. What? The TV won't turn on? Oh, my God, our parents didn't pay the cable bill. Molly, this is terrible. <laughs> oh, my gosh, freaking out, freaking out, freaking out, freaking out, freaking out. Parents abandoned us. We are all alone. Molly? Molly, are you okay? No. I can't, I can't adult. I can't adult. Molly, seriously, step out of it. Can't adult. Molly, I can't do this alone. Come back to me. Molly, breathe, breathe. Oh, Daisy, I see the light. Molly, no. <laughs> Girls, oh, <laughs> there you are. Mom, you're back! I, 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 I didn't know where you were! Um, Molly, are you okay? Molly? Yeah, uh, fine. Where were you guys today? We, we knew you were coming back. Yep, totally. Your mom and I just didn't want to deal with being adults anymore, so we went and got ice cream. Yeah, it was super fun. What? We thought you abandoned us and you had ice cream all day? Well, since you didn't want to get out of bed and you were being such brats, we decided we were going to take the day off. OMG, Daisy! Well, you have to admit, Molly, we kind of deserved that. Ugh, parents are, are crazy! Well, Molly, <laughs> are you going to start getting out of bed on time? Uh, Molly? Yeah, but can we get ice cream with you guys too? If you manage to get out of bed for school for one whole week on time, then I will buy you any ice cream cone you want. Okay, sounds like a deal, Mom. Just don't ever abandon us, okay? Never, Molly. Never. Woohoo! 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 It's summer break! It's summer break! No more school! It's summer break! Summer break makes me so happy because obviously there's no school. Mm, what should I pack to go to the park today? Ooh, the ice cream looks good. Molly, you can't take ice cream to the park. It will melt. Well, I think we should try. Mm, it's really good. You can't take ice cream to the park. Besides, even if it didn't melt, you're eating it all before we even get there. Yeah, good point. Mm, I just can't help myself. It's so delicious. What should we pack? How about we just get Boga Bond? Daisy, you're speaking my language. Sounds delicious. Uh, but Daisy, you can't go in pants and a long shirt. You will literally feel like you're sitting on the surface of the sun. It's gonna be really hot today. Don't you want to wear shorts and stuff? I'm working on it, Molly. I still have to change and whatever. Well, hurry up. I really want to get going. Ah, <sighs> my sister takes forever. Speak for yourself, Molly. You're the one that takes forever when it's time to go to school. Well, yeah, obviously. Who wants to go there? Daisy, seriously, come on now. Molly, my pigtails have to be perfect. Daisy, you're gonna get in the pool. Your pigtails are gonna look terrible after that anyway. No, they won't. They look perfect, Molly. Holy guacamole, what's in that huge bag? What, are you gonna stay there for the rest of your life? <laughs> no, I have sunscreen, I have snacks, I have an extra pair of sunglasses, an umbrella, a beach towel. Holy guacamole, Molly. You are moving in down there. Come on, let's get going. Okay, I'm trying to move, but this bag is really heavy. Uh, uh, uh. Daisy, could you carry it? Absolutely not, Molly. You packed all of it. You carry it. Daisy! Come on, we'll take the car instead of walking. That way you don't have to carry that whole thing all the way across town. Good idea, Daisy. Daisy, it won't fit in your trunk. It's it's too big. Molly, you're gonna have to leave the bag here. No way, I need this stuff. There, okay, I crammed it in there. Molly, I don't even know if the car's gonna go now. You've got so much weight in that bag. <laughs> Whatever, Daisy. You'll be thankful when you need a snack. Daisy, stay on the road. I can't, Molly. That bag is so heavy. It's making me still funny. Whatever, Daisy. You're being so dramatic right now. Yes, we're finally here. Molly, don't you need your bag? Nah, I don't really need all that stuff. Molly! 
<laughs> well, I don't. I changed my mind. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I got stuck with her as a sister. Ooh, I'm going to ride on the swings. Marley, don't look now, but Sarah's here. Whoa, I can't look. I'm getting too dizzy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm getting off the swing. Hey, Sarah, how's your summer going? Why are you talking to me, loser? Uh, actually, my name's not Loser. My mom and dad named me Molly. Isn't that funny? This whole time you thought my name was Loser, but it's really Molly. I know what your name is, Loser. Okay, you can't rename me. My name is Molly. Uh, yeah, she's still talking to me. It's super annoying. Yeah, I'll have to call you back. Goodbye. Okay, Loser, you're interrupting my phone call. What do you want? Um, like I said already, my name isn't Loser. <sighs> Seriously, do you understand what I am saying? My name is Molly. Oh, whatever. This is getting so ridiculous. Whoa, looks like we're gonna have a giant storm. Good thing I brought that umbrella. Molly, go get the bag. We need the umbrella. Told you that would come in handy. Ha, huh, this rain is crazy. This is not exactly how I thought our park day would go. It's okay, Molly. It'll pass in a minute. Oh my gosh, it's like raining so hard. Let me under there too. You Losers need to move over. She already told you our name isn't Loser. Look, Molly, the sun is coming out. Yeah, only one problem. The entire park is flooded. Oh, man, this totally ruined our amazing summer park day. Only if you let it, Loser. Um, seriously, can you start calling me Molly? I don't like being called Loser. We could do other cool things. I thought we were Losers. You want to hang out with us now? Well, there's no one else to hang out with. Come on. Let's do a dare. I don't think so. That sounds like a really bad idea. We sh it's raining again, Molly. Maybe we should just get going home. No, Daisy, I don't want to just give up. I mean, we only have so many summer days, and then it'll be school time again. True. Okay, Sarah, what's the deal you're thinking of? I'm thinking that you should um swing as high as you can and then jump off. That's a terrible idea, Molly. Don't take the deal. I dare you, Molly. Um, yeah, I, I don't think that's such a good idea. I double dog dare you. Whoa, this is getting serious. A double dog dare? I triple dog dare you. Molly, don't listen to her. Nothing's worth a triple dog dare. Daisy, it's a triple dog dare. I'll be the biggest chicken on the planet if I don't do it. Okay, fine. I take your triple dog dare. Everything's gonna be fine, Daisy, anyway, because literally, I'm gonna just land in the water. Molly, I think this is such a bad idea. No, it's gonna be fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Molly? M Molly? Oh my God, she's under the water, Molly! All I can see is her little face! Molly? Molly? Molly! Oh my God, Molly! Okay, I'm gonna take her sunglasses off and see if her eyes are open. Whoa, I think she might have gotten hurt or something. Figure she would jump over here towards this giant concrete block. Duh, that was silly of her. Don't pick on my sister, she's obviously hurt. Molly, say something, anything! Look at her leg, it looks broken. I'm sure she's just fine. I mean, she looks sort of... Well, okay, yeah, no, she's not fine. You better call 911. This was all your fault, Sarah, for double dog daring her. Okay, Molly, I'm gonna call an ambulance. Everything's gonna be fine. Just hang on, Molly, hang on. <laughs> 911, what's your emergency? Um, yes, I'm trying not to panic, but my sister's at the park and... <sighs> Sorry, you need to stop crying, ma'am, so I can hear what you're saying. Okay, um, my sister jumped off the swing at the park in downtown Brookhaven, and she fell, and I think she hurt her leg, and she's not saying anything. Okay, ma'am, we'll be there as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Bye. Sarah? Oh, I just figured she would run away. She wouldn't want to fess up to double dog, I mean triple dog daring my sister. Oh, my gosh, Molly. Wait, I saw her leg move. Molly? Molly? Say something, Molly, please. What, what happened? Ow, my leg hurts. Ah. <laughs> Molly, it's going to be okay. The ambulance is going to be here to take you to the hospital. What happened to me? What happened? Molly, you jumped off the swing and, 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 and you got hurt. Hello? So I'm totally here to take your sister to the hospital. Whoa, you look so much like this girl Sarah that I know. She looks grumpy too. Well, my job is really hard. I just have to pick up people all day and they're super heavy. Um, okay. Molly, we're just gonna get you on the stretcher now, okay? Oh, my leg hurts so bad. <laughs> Molly, it's gonna be okay as soon as 
as you get to the hospital, they'll give you something for the pain. Okay, so like totally hold still. I don't need you to break your leg any worse than it already is. Don't worry, I can't even move. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Ugh. Okay, like everybody hold on because this might be a puppy ride. Molly, it's gonna be okay. I told you you shouldn't have taken that triple dog deal. Well, I didn't see where I had a choice. I mean, it was a triple dog dare. Molly, you always have a choice. Don't be ridiculous. Now look at the boat you've got yourself into. Daisy, can you not yell at me right now? I really don't feel good. Okay, Molly, sorry. Just don't do it again, okay? I think I've learned my lesson, okay? My leg is broken. <laughs> Uh, yeah, could I have a large latte, please, and a cheeseburger? I'm sorry, we're all out of lattes. Uh, I could still give you the cheeseburger, though. Fine, just give me a regular coffee and the cheeseburger. Seriously? My leg is broken and you've decided to stop at the drive-thru? Oh, I'm having the worst day ever. I'm literally gonna give this ambulance driver a one-star review. This is ridiculous. Oh, oh, I hope a doctor comes in soon. Oh, I feel like I'm dying. Oh. Uh, good morning. Uh, what seems to be the problem here? My sister, she got really hurt, doctor. What's your name? My name's Dr. Taffy. Dr. Taffy? Seriously, like the candy? Yes, but unfortunately, doctors aren't as nice as Taffy because we have to give you shots a lot of times. What? I don't want a shot! Molly, just chill out. Oh my gosh, this is the worst day ever. Dr. Taffy, I'd like some ice cream and some candy and no shots, please. Sorry, I can't promise anything. Now, what seems to be... Uh, I mean, what happened is what I meant to say. Are you feeling okay, Dr. Taffy? I'm feeling fine. Quit asking so many questions. Just answer the ones I've got. Oh, grumpy, grumpy. Okay, um, uh, what happened was I took a triple dog dare and jumped off the swing at the park and... Well, I broke my leg. Okay, well, by the looks of you, we need to get an x-ray. Is that gonna hurt? No, Molly, x-rays don't hurt. Whoa, this machine is crazy. Yes, it's a very special x-ray machine. It will tell me where the breaks are in your leg and if you need surgery. Surgery? No, I don't, I don't want surgery, no! Okay, it looks like, hmm, your brain looks very giant and kind of delicious. What? What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. <laughs> you don't uh, have more than one break. You only have just the one. Dr. Taffy, you're kind of talking kind of weird. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm just hungry for brains. Brains? <laughs> you mean you're hungry for a Reese cup, right? Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> totally. Just a Reese cup. Yeah. Um. Okay. Can I go back to my room now? Yes. You don't need surgery, but you're going to have to wear a cast on it. And also, I'm going to have to give you a shot. What? No! Not a shot! Sorry. Have to. What? No! 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 I tried to call my mom on the phone, but she wasn't answering. I'm gonna have to send her an instant message. Okay, let me just log in here. What? What's this? The doctor's notes? Um, okay, well, I guess I can see what the doctor's notes are, because it does have to do with my sister. What? He's giving everybody shots to turn them into zombies? Oh my god, I have to get to my sister! Molly, I'm coming! See, I told you that shot wouldn't hurt that bad. What? You already gave her the shot? No! Molly! What? What's so bad? I already got the shot. It's over. I'm done. Thank goodness. Because Molly, the, 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 that shot is... It's... It's... Sombrex! What? Sombrex? What are you talking about? <laughs> Whoa! My leg is starting to feel a lot better. And I'm craving brains. Weird. That shot worked really quickly. Molly, no! This can't be happening! What are you talking about, Daisy? I... I... I don't want to tell you this, Molly, but that shot's gonna turn you into a zombie! What? No, it's not. Don't be ridiculous. What's that smell? It smells delicious. What, Molly? I don't smell anything. Smells like... Brains! Molly! No! How could this be? My only sister! Come here, Daisy. I want to eat your brains! Ah! Oh my god, I gotta get out of here! Molly, I thought your leg was broken! No, it's fine now! Ha ha ha! Caught you! Molly, don't bite me! Seriously, I don't want to be a zombie! Sorry, but your brains smell delicious. I'll give you a choice, though. You could be a zombie like me, or I could eat your brains. I don't like either one of those options, Molly! Too bad. <coughs> Molly, you bit me! Molly! <laughs> now you're going to be a zombie, just like me! Uh, I don't feel so good. Don't worry, 
you're gonna be feeling fine in no time. You're gonna be just like me, a zombie. <laughs> I can't believe you turned me into a zombie, Molly. Well, I think it's wonderful because we're gonna live forever. Yeah, but now I'm hungry. So hungry for brains. Brains. No problem. I'm sure we can find some somewhere around here. Look, the club just opened, which means there's gonna be lots of people going there to party and no one will suspect two zombies. Molly, we're green. How are we not gonna be suspected? Hey, look at that. Someone's over there in front of the mall. Ooh, I think it's Sarah. Let's go eat her brains. Let's go eat her brains. Okay, Molly, you're being a little crazy right now. Well, we are zombies. It's what we do. Oh, look who it is. I guess you didn't break your leg, huh? Whoa, you look really sick. Are you doing okay? What, what's wrong with you guys? Huh? You decided to come to the club tonight, huh? Well, I was gonna go to the mall, but I decided to come to the club instead. What does your face look like that before? I mean, you were ugly to start with. What? I wasn't ugly, and now I'm beautiful because I'm a zombie. What? A zombie? Oh! Everybody run! No one's even here yet, Sarah. It's just you and me. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Time to eat. Your brains! <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to call you a loser. Okay, yes, I did, but still, please don't eat my brains. It's happening, Sarah. It's happening! <laughs> Molly, say something, anything, Molly! Oh my gosh, I can't believe Molly fell off the swing and hit her head. Molly, Molly! Huh? What? What? Oh, what happened? Oh, my head hurts. My leg hurts. Molly, you hit you hit your head when you jumped off the swing. What? No, I, I, I was just a zombie. What? No, you weren't. Okay, let's get her on the stretcher already. Ugh, I want to go on my break. I'm starving. Okay, Miss Grumpy. My sister got a concussion. No, there was zombies at the hospital. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Molly, you have to get on the stretcher. You got a concussion from hitting your head on this concrete over here. And your leg is broken, I think. But the zombies! Molly, that was just a bad nightmare. Come on, get on the stretcher. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, but I'm telling you, Daisy, we have to watch out for the zombies. The doctor's infecting everyone. Molly, everything's gonna be okay. Well, ride with me, okay, Daisy, because I'm afraid. And I don't want the zombies to get me. Molly, for the last time, there's no zombies at the hospital. It was just a nightmare. You've got a concussion. Okay. I, 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 I guess I believe you, Daisy. Everybody hold on, okay? It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Oh, I'm starving. I wonder if the drive through will have anything that I like. Ugh, this job is so annoying. All I want to do is eat brains. Brains. Ah, do you hear that, Daisy? Hear what, Molly? I didn't hear anything. Ah! Hey, guys, what's up? Once you all take a seat, we'll get started. Started with what? Teaching us how to rob banks? I am in charge here. What? No, you're not. <laughs> yes, I am the CEO of Bank Robbery. Is she for real right now? Totally, I'm totally for real. I am an expert at robbing banks. Uh, Daisy, all that makes you is a criminal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, let's get down to business. Where is this guy? Oh, there he is. Okay. Um, you look like maybe you've stolen from a lot of banks. Marley, that's rude. Today, we'll be robbing the city bank. <laughs> there is said to be five million dollars in the vault. Five million dollars? That's all? Like, seriously? Wouldn't five billion be better? Our mission is to grab the most money we can and escape alive. That sounds easy peasy. As long as you guys follow my lead, we'll be fine. I'm an expert at bank robbery. Are you really, Daisy? But not in real life, of course. It's just Roblox. There will be armed guards. Dun, da da Okay, that was a bit dramatic. Any questions? Um, yeah, I've got a lot of questions. What's the plan? Uh, you just follow me. I, I have a question, too. Wh where's our gear? Yeah, I have that question as well. Yeah, you're not doing a very good job, bank robber, leader, teacher, person. <laughs> Molly. I was just about to show you. I mean, hold on. Well, I've got a first aid kit in case anybody trips over a giant diamond 
and uh, um falls down or something. What? What are you even talking about? Uh, uh, we won't. We won't what? Wait, I missed the conversation, Daisy! You're making me fail this class. Like you don't fail in every other class. I don't! I don't fail! Okay, everybody, good. Follow me. Okay, I don't have any idea what's going on. You never do, Molly. You never do. Hop on, everybody. Ooh, we're taking this elevator into the bank. How cool. We're going down an elevator to rob a bank. Ooh la la, this is going to be a hard one to rob. Ah, uh, no, I... Oh, gosh, those guys look scary. But this is also so cool! How do I get these? Oh, wow. 400 Robux. Meh, I think I'll just take my chances. Take a minute to look around. 199. Um, I don't, I don't think I need the jelly gun. Jelly gun? What are you talking about, Molly? Um, there's a gun in here that shoots grape jelly. How's that gonna help us steal the diamond? Don't ask me. I don't know. Um, Daisy? Molly, look at you! You look like a criminal! What about this guy over here? Holy guacamole, he's creepy. No, I think I'm gonna be this guy. What guy is that, Molly? Criminal that steals diamonds? Hey, it's Roblox! Anything can happen! Okay, we looked around for a minute. No, we don't want to buy your cheap jelly guns. Now what? Now I think we have to... What? Grab a uniform. Did that! This guy is so behind on what's going on. Yeah, he's a pretty bad bank robber. I'm gonna be much better. I'm gonna be the best robber in the world! <laughs> OMG, Daisy, that was so creepy! Daisy, how come, how come you have that look on your face? What, this one? It's because I'm so shocked that we're about to steal the biggest diamond in all of Roblox. I know, right? This is going to be crazy. Wow, look at this armored car. This is kind of cool. Sweet. You guys look awesome. Great job. Uh-huh. You will all receive pistols when we get to the bank. Wait, we're not in the bank? No, Molly, we're just at the warehouse getting prepared. You should take one of these guns, too. It'll help you. Help me what? Rob the diamond! Come on, everybody, we leave in one minute. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna ride on the top of the truck. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. Hey, guys, Um, while we're waiting to rob this bank, I think it would be a good time to tell you about our new website, starsquad.shop where you can get t-shirts with the Star Squad on them, piggy shirts, pillows, backpacks, and more. So if you guys want to, you can check it out by clicking the link in the description box below this video. Whoa! What else is there to do up here? Molly, get back here or they're gonna leave without you! Uh-oh. Holy guacamole. I better get down to this armored truck. <laughs> I like the license plate. Tough! Yeah, you have to be tough if you're going to rob a bank. No kidding, Molly Jeepers. Enter the van. Okay, I entered it. Now what? Now, shh! Molly, we're on a top secret mission. Okay, if you say so. Oh my gosh! This van goes so... <laughs> right, Molly? It only went five miles an hour. Alright, everybody get in the van. No way! That stinky van! I, I'd rather run there with so slow. Yeah, no kidding. Here we are. Um, yeah. Okay, wait, they flipped the switch. These guys are like seasoned criminals. They know exactly what they're doing. Those cameras are the problem. Uh, yeah! Hello, Slowpoke! We already cha changed them and turned them off. But they won't let us in unless we take out the cameras. We already took... Uh, is this guy even listening? Hello? On each side of the building, there are power levers. Uh-huh. We know. Oh, wait. There's still one more camera. This guy is smarter than we thought. Disable the cameras and we can go in. We're gonna steal the biggest diamond in the world. We're gonna steal the biggest diamond in the world. Do you have to sing about it, Molly? 
Yeah, don't let the camera see you. I will, Molly. I'm incognito. Flip the switch, Daisy. Flip it. I did, Molly. Nice job, Daisy. Now we can go steal that diamond. Do -do 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 -do. We're gonna steal a diamond. You guys ready? Ready as I'll ever be to be a criminal. I mean, <laughs> how can you be ready to be a criminal? Yeah, I'm ready. He's very excited about being a criminal. I noticed. Good. Does anybody else notice this guy is like really slow to say anything to us? I know, right, Molly? What is going on? It's almost like he's not really here. I think he might be like a robot or something. Let's go into the bank and rob this diamond! The biggest diamond in all of Roblox. Okay, maybe we have to keep going. Oh, guys, I'm just keep... Oh, my God. There's some serious lasers down here. Um, problem with the diamond. We're all gonna die! We're not, we're not gonna die. I'm just gonna shoot holes in the wall. Bam, 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 bam. Um, guys, how is that going to help? I don't know, but I just want to. I gotta go, too. Wait, do I have a gun? Oh, yeah, okay, I do. Bam, 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 bam! I'm gonna take out that light. Bam, bam, bam! <laughs> just kidding, people. Just kidding. Ow! Why are you shooting me in the butt right now? Ow! Oh, my gosh. Seriously? Hmm, I didn't see us coming through this, though. Really? You couldn't have imagined there'd be lasers in this bank? Be very careful. Duh! You have to go through these lasers. Um. We have to disable them for this this guy so that he can go in and steal the diamond. Whoa. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! I just died! What Molly? Great. Now you gotta spend 35 little bucks. Wait, what? Where is everybody? Ah! I've turned into the leader! Just, just kidding. It's just me. Okay, great job, everybody! Really? You didn't have to jump through the lasers? You just waited for us? <sighs> Daisy, what are you doing? I'm shooting jelly at this guy who's being rude! Daisy, stop it! No, I'm just kidding. I've got to disable all these lasers. This is going to be big! Okay, let's do this then. Stand back! Oh, he's blowing it up. Okay, everybody stand back. Whoa! He really blew that up! Holy cow, whoa, there's a lot of money in here. I want all the money. Oh, taking stacks of cash! Stacks of cash! Look at me taking stacks of cash! Only in Roblox, go. I'm a good person in real life. I only rob banks in Roblox. Oh my gosh! I'm loving all this money! Marty, stop singing and take more cash! Stacks of cash! Stacks of cash! Molly! <laughs> ah! Someone's shooting at me! I'm gonna die! Oh my god, it's the army, guys. Oh my god. Don't worry, Molly. I don't have a gun. Um, anybody know why? Could you die? Uh-oh. Do I get a taser? No, Molly, you're not a cop. You're the bad guy. Oh, no. Oh, Daisy! <laughs> Oh my god! You got them both! Now let's steal all the cash and get out of here! My sister wasn't kidding when she said she was a total criminal. It's criminal how easy this game is for you, Daisy. Hey, what can I say? I'm being I'm good at being a Roblox thief. Get the rest of the money! We're not sharing it with you! You're lazy, you didn't do anything. Take all the money. Yeah, yep, yep. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of money. Uh, where am I putting it all? Like, literally, I have no bag or anything. This won't all fit in my pockets. <laughs> I'm eating it. Just kidding. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Ew, Molly! Yeah, that would, that would be really gross. Hey, stop stealing my money. Okay, let's hurry and get out of here. Okay, let's do this. Oh, there's the leader. 
Oh my god, they know we're here! Really? Of course they do! We're robbing a bank! We have to leave a different way. This is going to be nasty, but... Well, I don't have a gun, so I'm, what am I supposed to do? I guess just let me handle everything, Molly. Jump in the sewer! Ew, that's gonna be gross! No, I don't want to jump in the sewer, please. No. Just no. Well, Molly, you gotta do what you gotta do when you're robbing banks. I didn't see a big diamond anywhere, did you? Not yet, Molly. Maybe it's not here yet. Ew, it stinks so bad down here! Yep, pretty stinky! Yeah, <laughs> I didn't really want for this to happen, but, you know, <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Um, just face it, you didn't plan at all for this, did you? How did we get out of here? Yeah, do you even know how to get out of here? Uh, well, um, uh, I'm not sure. Seriously, you brought us down here and you don't even know how to get out? Ugh, we are not gonna ever get out of this sewer. Now we live down here. We live here! Look for a way out! Watch out for the guards! Oh, that's good. I don't even have a, my pistol anymore. Now what am I going to do? Oh, that's just Daisy. <laughs> Literally, I thought that was one of the guards. Okay, I don't see any of the guards anywhere. Me either, Molly. Me either. Let's go see if we can find somebody. No, we do want to find somebody, Molly. We want to get out of here. Yeah, let's try to get out of here. Oh my god, I found a guard! Don't worry, Molly! I to kill of it. Okay. I'll stand over here and, like, the leader. Do absolutely nothing! I got it, Molly. Okay, now how do we get out of here? I don't know, but follow me. I feel like I know the way. We're gonna be stuck in here forever! Quit being so dramatic, Molly. Jeez. Well, seriously, it stinks like poo poo in here! And, and I want my Oh, well, I don't hide it. stuck in the sewers with you. Ah, there's the way out. Uh, there's also a guard. Uh, he fell over. They're just robots, Molly. Seriously, what just happened? I, I can't see anything. Our escape driver should be here any minute. That's good, but where's the big diamond? Uh, must have been another bank. Hey, what was that noise? Come over here, Molly. We don't want to get caught. Oh, no. It's the police. What? Seriously? Oh, brother Molly, now we're in trouble. We don't have long. Yeah, you, you could have said that beforehand, since you didn't plan any of this out. Well, Molly, he's a terrible leader, but now we have to get out. He's too late. We have to fight. I don't even see any of the cops. Where are they? Take out all of the guards. Oh, my gosh. There they are. I'm just going to hide over here, because I don't even have a gun. Good plan, Molly. Oh, wow, Daisy. <laughs> Daisy's like super criminal right now. Take that and that and that. We have to get out of this bank heist alive. Okay, Daisy, if you say so. Bing, 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 bing. Take that and that and that. Molly, when I responded to the game, I don't have a gun. What? I don't have a gun either. Now what are we going to do? Um, well, uh, let's ask the leader. Okay, so what do we do? We don't have a gun. Oh, uh, what are you talking about? I don't know you. What are you talking about? This was your idea. Oh, uh, help! These guys are trying to rob me. Look, they're thieves. I'm just a nice businessman wearing my nice suit, going to work, and I'm not doing anything wrong. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, brother, he's a traitor. Daisy, this looks like the end for us. We're going to the big house. Jail! <sighs> watching our show today Brooke hi don't forget to check out our sponsor the new iPhone guys the new iPhone is amazing you want to run out to your local electronics store and purchase it right now whoa Daisy did you hear that Brittany says we should get the new iPhone I know she's such a star I love her <sighs> but I haven't saved up enough money yet for the iPhone that's okay I know what to do Mom! Molly, I'm right here. <laughs> you know the downstairs is all one room, right? Yeah, but Mom, I have a question. 
Uh, please stop crawling on the counter, Molly. I can't afford a new one. Uh, sorry, Mom. I'm just really excited. She's gonna say no. Uh, Daisy, shh! I haven't even asked her yet. Mom, Mom, Mom. Beautiful, Mommy! Okay, Molly, what is it? Spit it out. You are the most radiant, amazing mom on the entire planet. What do you want, Molly? Nothing! Just saying you're amazing. Hmm, I think you probably are going to ask me for something. Okay, um, you know how on Brook High they have the brand new iPhones? Uh, yes, Molly, but that's because they got them for free because that is the show that's like most popular right now, so iPhone just gives them to them. Yeah, I know, but... Uh, I want the new iPhone, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a big ask, Molly. Um, I, I I, don't think that I can afford that right now. I'm really sorry. <laughs> what? But, but, Mom, my old phone is like a flip phone. It's so old. I'm pretty sure the dinosaurs called each other on my phone. Well, Molly, just be thankful you actually have a phone. A lot of girls your age don't have a phone at all. Yeah, Molly, try to be appreciative. Hmm. This apple is delicious, Mom. Ugh, can't believe it. I can't get the new iPhone. I could have told you that, Molly. Duh. I cannot believe that I just won a bazillion dollars. What's the first thing you're going to buy? Uh, a new laptop, of course. They're also our sponsor for this video. Oh, my gosh. Now the stars from Rags to Riches are getting new um iPads. I definitely want one of those or a new laptop. Ooh, I could use that for school. I'm going to go ask Mom. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. I already asked for a new iPhone, and she said no. But this is for school. It's necessary. My laptop keeps freezing. Mom! Yes, Daisy, what is it? Dinner's going to be ready soon. My laptop keeps freezing whenever I try to do my schoolwork. Oh, man. We're going to have to take it into Best Buy then, and maybe they can figure out why. No, Mom, you don't understand. This this computer is so old, I can't use it anymore. Um, well, we're going to have to make it work because uh, I can't afford a new one right now. Even with all the overtime at work, I have to pay the mortgage and the car payment. And even your dad's mowing the grass instead of hiring someone else to do it. We have to all pitch in during this rough time. But, Mom, I need a new iPad or a new laptop to do my schoolwork. Daisy, I told you we could go to the Best Buy and see if they can fix your laptop. But, but, told you, Daisy. I knew she wasn't going to say yes. Hey, what happened to TV? Oh, I'm so tired from mowing that grass. It's like a thousand degrees outside. Ah. Dad, I'm so sorry you're dying, but what happened to cable? I need TV. Oh, your mother and I canceled that so we could save some money. What? No! No new iPhone, no new laptop, and no cable? I can't take this anymore. I've got to get out of here. I'm coming with you, Molly. Girls, wait a minute. If you're going out, I need something from the grocery store. Oh, really? We've got to go do an errand? Yes, Molly, please. I, I need some eggs so I can finish what I'm making for dinner. Okay, fine. Can I buy a candy bar? No, Molly. Of course you can't. You don't have enough money for that. But I want a candy bar. No, Molly, I need eggs. Don't buy a candy bar with that money. Okay, Mom, fine. Come on, Daisy. Ugh. I don't like being poor. Being poor stinks. I agree, Molly, I agree. Now remember what Mom said, Molly. No buying a candy bar as much as you want it. Well, hello there. Welcome to my grocery store. Hi. Um, I only have enough money for some eggs. Where are those? Uh, back right-hand corner. Hey Luke, what's up? Yeah, I'm just I'm just uh, working at the grocery store tonight. The lottery is up to hundred. What? The lottery is up to a hundred million dollars? I'm never gonna work at the grocery store again. And it's said that the winning ticket is in Brookhaven. Holy guacamole! Yeah, I'm gonna buy some tickets. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome if I win. I'm gonna move to the beach. I'm never gonna work at the grocery store again. Daisy, did you hear that? Hear what, Molly? The sound of my stomach growling? I hope dinner's ready when we get home. No, the grocery store worker. He said that the lotto was up to a hundred million dollars.
Holy guacamole! He also said the winning ticket is at one of these stores in Brookhaven. Wow, that's insane. Whoever wins is going to be really lucky. Now let's get the eggs and go home. I'm hungry. Don't you see, Daisy? We gotta buy the winning ticket. How are we going to do that, Molly? Don't be ridiculous. We're going to do it because we're going to use this $3 to buy the winning lotto ticket. What? No, we're not. We have to use that for eggs. Yeah, but if we buy the winning lotto ticket, we don't have to worry about eggs. We could buy a bazillion eggs. Molly, how do you know you're going to buy the winning ticket? Um, well, um, I don't know. I'm just having faith it's all going to work out. What's going to happen is you're going to spend that $3. We're going to go home and there's not going to be any dinner. You could be grounded for a week. Well, Daisy, I'm buying the lotto ticket. Molly, you're not going to buy the lotto ticket. D Daisy, let me out of this car. Don't, don't you get, get, let me out of this car. I'm buying it. I'm buying it, Daisy. Get back here, Molly. You're not spending mom's money. I am spending mom's, Daisy, did you seriously just put me back in the car? Daisy, I'm not three years old. Stop it. Are you going to act more mature about the money mom gave you? Yes, I will buy the eggs. Are you sure? Yep. Come on, let's go over and get them right now. <laughs> I'd like the um, winning lotto ticket, please. Well, there's no way I know if you're going to actually get the... Just sell me the ticket! Okay, fine. Here you go. Molly! No! You spent the money on a lotto ticket! Naughty! Naughty, you're grounded. Daisy, I'm not your kid. Stop putting me in the... Stop putting me in the cart! Fine, Molly. You're so naughty. I don't even want you in my cart. This is all your fault. I don't even know you. You're dead to me. Oh, my gosh. My sister's so annoying. Good luck with that ticket. You know, I'm going to buy the winning lottery ticket. Okay, fine. We'll see about that. Hey, Daisy. Where's the eggs so I can finish up making dinner? Uh, ask Molly about that. I had nothing to do with this, Mom. I cannot be blamed. Mom, Mom, guess what? Um, you were able to get a two-for-one deal on the eggs? And then we can have her for breakfast in the morning, too. No, Mom, I spent the money on something else. What? I told you not to buy a candy bar. I needed those eggs, Molly. This is what feeds our family. What were you thinking? You're grounded. What? No, I can't be grounded. I didn't buy a candy bar. Then what did you buy? A lottery ticket! What? You gambled with our money? Are you crazy right now? Oh, that makes me so mad, Molly! But you don't even know if it's a winner! Go to your room, Molly. Go right now! Fine. Well, Molly, that worked out real well. But when I scratch it off and everybody sees I'm a winner... Molly, you're not going to win. Well, let's find out. Daisy! Oh my gosh! Oh, Molly, what is it? Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh! Molly, are you pranking me right now? What's going on? Molly, stop talking gibberish! What's wrong with you? Did you bonk your head? What's going on? Oh my gosh. Is that a... Is that a... Winning lottery ticket? For a... Hundred... Million... Dollars, Daisy! Oh my gosh! Uh... Uh, yeah. I'll come back to you when you're actually awake. Mom! 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 Molly... I can't talk to you right now, okay? I'm really stressed about money, and I don't have any eggs to feed you guys, and I'm just really worried. I'm going to have to take another job, I think, if I can even get one. Mom, your problems are over. What are you talking about? That lotto ticket that I got? It, it's a winner. What, for like a free ticket or something? How's that going to help us? Mom, no, it's it's the big winner. A hundred million dollars. What? L let me see that. Oh, my gosh. Ah! Oh, my gosh. Is there anybody in this house that hasn't passed out? Where's dad? Hey, everybody. We won a, we met, we met, we won $100 million. All of our troubles are over. Dad, what exactly are you doing? It's the day we're supposed to move into our new mansion. I'm just so excited. I can't stop dancing. I can't stop dancing. 
Is that a new song you wrote, Dad? Yeah, I'm thinking about becoming a musician now that I don't have to have a job. I can't stop dancing. This is my signature dance move. Uh, Dad, it's just weird. Nope, nope, nope. Raise a roof, raise a roof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, Dad. You're even weirder when you're rich. Well, I'm allowed to be weird. I have all the money in the world! Let's move these moving boxes to our new mansion. Oh boy, my dad is so crazy right now. Ah, now this is the life I was talking about. No one wanted to believe that my winning lotto ticket would actually be, well, a winner. But look where we are now. I have to agree, Molly. I thought you were insane, but this place is, well, amazing. It's off the hook. And, um, I'm really glad you bought that winning lotto ticket, Molly. Am I still grounded then, Dad? Oh, uh, that's a difficult one to answer. Go ask your mother. Come on, Daisy. Come see my new sports car. I've got one of my own, Molly. Whoa. Okay, yeah, I want to ride in yours. That's just because you can't drive, Molly, and I'm a better driver. No, you're not. I'm a fine driver. Uh-huh, sure, says the girl who put Mom's car on the lake. Okay, that was a little bit of a mistake. You think, cheapos? Oh, my gosh, Daisy. We have so much nice stuff now. Like, we've got a mansion. We've got nice cars. We have amazing clothes. We have, we have the newest iPhones. What are we going to do with all this money that's left over? I don't know, Molly. What what do you think we should do with it? Hmm. Daisy, I think I have the perfect idea. What are you doing, Molly? Why are you going over there by the dumpsters? I just saw something when we were driving by. Oh, I'm so hungry. I hope this dumpster food doesn't make me sick. Ew! Why are you eating from the dumpster? That's disgusting. Um, you could go to the dino. They have regular food. Daisy, he's eating from the dumpster because he doesn't have any money. Oh, wow, that's really sad because I still have like 90 million dollars and... Daisy, probably not a good idea to tell him that you have tons of money while he's sitting here eating from the dumpster. Sorry, I guess I just get a little nervous when I don't know what to say or do. Well, I know exactly what to do. Hey, I've got something for you here. Whoa, uh, seriously? Yeah, there's like, um... Five hundred thousand dollars here. What? F five five hundred thousand dollars? Yeah, it's enough to buy you a small house. <laughs> oh my God! Did he die? Ah, the homeless man died. No, I just can't move. Partially because I just got a hundred five hundred thousand dollars, and partially because I ate something rotten from the dumpster. Oh, my stomach hurts. Yeah, you don't have to eat from the dumpster ever, ever again. How could I ever repay you? Huh, I can't wait to go to my own house where I have a bathroom because I'm probably going to have to throw up. Oh, man, that stinks. Yeah, don't eat from a dumpster ever again. Here's $500,000. You could buy food and everything you need. Oh, there was... There was this work truck I wanted to get because I'm super good at construction and I wanted to start fixing stuff up and and, and now I can afford to start my own business. I'll never be homeless again. How could I ever thank you? What's your name? Come on, Daisy. Don't even tell him our name. Let's just do it and be good Samaritans. Molly, look at the orphanage. It really looks a bit fun town. Maybe we could donate some money to them too. That's a great idea, Daisy. Let's do this. Hi, are you my mommy? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm just a teenager. I can't be your mommy. Oh, I really need a mommy. This place is really run down. Oh, I'm sorry, but look, my sister and I are going to um give the orphanage $2 million, and it's going to be a lot nicer for you, okay? Are you sure? Are you sure it'll be nicer? Yep, until your mommy or daddy comes to find you. Aw, uh, thanks so much. We're just going to leave the bag of cash by here. Hello, can I help you? You two are a bit young to be adopting. But I see that our little Kelly really loves you. Aw, she's super nice. Maybe I could volunteer here sometime. Anyway, we have something we'd like to give you. Two million dollars. Wait, what? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Is that Monopoly money? No, it's real money. We won the lottery, but we don't need all this money, so we're giving some to you. Seriously? Yeah, 
please use it for the orphanage and make it a nice place for all the kids. Oh my gosh. The kids right now are out on the playground, except for little Kelly. She kind of didn't want to go out today. She just wanted to hang out inside. They're going to be so excited when they come in and they see this money. And I can tell them we're going to buy new toys. And we only have one crib here for all the kids. What? That's horrible. Yeah. Everybody's been sleeping on those mats on the floor over there. Every kid deserves to have their own bed. I couldn't agree more. Thank you, girls. This means the world. You're welcome. Bye, Kelly. I follow you. You could be my mommy. Sorry, Kelly. But I could come back next week and maybe I could be your big sister. I love that. Yeah, come back. Hello, this is Molly. Hello, Molly. This is the mayor of Brookhaven. I'd like for you to come down to the courthouse. Um, look, if this is about me driving my mom's car into the pool, I'm really sorry. What? You you were the one that did that? Uh, no, 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 uh, never mind, I didn't say anything. Please come over to the courthouse right away. Okay, I'll, I'll tell my sister now. Come on, Daisy, we have to go to the courthouse. For what, Molly? I don't know. I hope we're not in trouble. Me too, Molly, me too. Well, here's the mayor's office. Here goes nothing. H hello Hello, Molly. Nice to see you. Um, if you're going to give me detention, my teacher does that enough. <laughs> I'm not going to give you detention, but I am going to wait for your sister Daisy to get here, because this is for both of you. Oh, gosh. What kind of trouble are we in? I have to give my mom a heads up. What'd she do now? Why are you assuming it was just me, Daisy? Because, Molly, I'm an angel and you're the demon. What? Actually, I think you're both angels. Really? Why? Well, I've been told that the two of you have been donating large sums of money to people in need. Seriously? You, you heard about that? The mayo? I sure did, and I want to let you know that you guys have won Citizen of the Year of Brookhaven. We usually only pick one person, but since you both helped, we're going to pick two this year. Whoa! That's amazing! What do we get for it? You get these trophies. They're made out of solid gold. Whoa! And you get free ice cream from the ice cream shop downstairs for the entire year. Oh my god, that's amazing! I mean, we still have millions of dollars, so we could just buy ice cream, but that's the thought that counts. We don't need any rewards, Mr. Whip Mayo. We just wanted to do it because it was the right thing to do. Well... I can tell you that you girls are quite amazing. I'm very proud of you. Wow. Hey, uh, one thing money can't buy is um, a get-out-of-detention-free card for the year. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't have that kind of power of the teacher. Oh, man. Ooh, Hospital 911, my favorite. I wonder what's going to happen to Stevie. Oh, she got hit by a train, and now they're trying to save her life. Ugh, it's epic. I might have to eat a cookie. Mm. Oh, God. Mm. Daisy, get, get out of the way. I'm trying to watch this. I have to vacuum. It's my chores. And then, of course, I'm going to mop, too. Daisy, mop and vacuum somewhere else that's loud. I'm trying to watch my show. You're being so lazy, Molly. Come on, get up. No, I'm not doing anything. I have to eat this donut. Mmm. Mmm, good. It's all you do, Molly, is eat and eat and watch TV. Pretty much. <laughs> it's the best life ever. Who could that be? Brookie! I should have known. <laughs> Come on in, Brookie. Oh, Molly, you hit me with the door. Sorry, I was really excited to see you. Hey, Daisy. Oh, hey, Brookie. I can't hang out right now. Wait, what? Why? Because she has to clean. Oh, well, maybe we could do something fun afterwards. Do you want to go to the park, Daisy? Sorry, I can't. I have to do lots of studying. Daisy, we don't even have a test tomorrow. Wait a minute. Do we have a test tomorrow? No, Molly. For once, you're actually right. We don't have any homework. Wait a minute. We are on a very rare occasion where we don't have homework and my sister wants to do some anyway. Yeah, that is pretty crazy, Molly. Maybe she needs some time off. Daisy, why are you studying and doing homework? Because, Molly, I have to. I have to be the best of the best so I can make all my dreams come true. Um, Daisy, uh, you're an amazing friend and stuff, but taking breaks isn't bad for you, you know. I'm not taking a break! Now leave me alone! Whoa, grumpy. 
sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, guys. Ah, <sighs> just no one understands me. They don't get why I want to work so hard at everything. Well, uh, if we could get in your brain, maybe we could understand. That's it! Molly, you, you just made me think of something. I did? What is it? I created this secret potion to shrink people down. What? You did? Yeah, in my secret science lab, but I guess it's not secret anymore because I just told you. <laughs> secret science lab. Don't be ridiculous. Well, it's, it's not that big yet, but in my mind, it's amazing. Anyway, I made this potion, and if you drink it, I, I can swing you down, and you could go inside my brain and see how I work, how I tick. Oh my gosh, Daisy, that's insane! Okay, I'm gonna go sit on the couch and relax. You guys take the potion and, you know, get inside my brain. This is creepy. This is crazy. Glug, glug, glug. Ooh, you made it taste like orange soda. It's delicious. Molly, not too much! Oh, hmm. Molly, if you drink too much, you'll never be a normal size again. Okay, yeah, that would be very bad. <laughs> I don't feel anything. You will, Molly. You will. Whoa! I shrank so much already! I'm shrinking too! Whoa! Okay, Brookie, are you ready? Here goes nothing, Molly. <laughs> this is going to be one crazy trip through Daisy's brain. All right, guys, time to see how my mind works. Ah! Oh my gosh, Molly! Hold on! What is this place? I don't know. It looks like some sort of secret room. I don't know. Look, this is there's a there's a laser door over here. Uh, maybe if we push this button, we can get inside. It worked. Well, I guess it's not that secret. Holy guacamole! This is the secret lab she was talking about. Wait, Brookie, did you not get through? I'm coming, Molly. The door doesn't seem to be working quite right. Okay, here. Let me see if I can get it from my end. Come on, Brookie. Whoa, look at there's a lab worker over there. Well, of course she's gonna have minions. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. She's got a rocket, uh, like a rocket thing that she can ride. And a laser, and oh my gosh, my sister has invented a lot of things. Wow. I think she could take over the world with this. Maybe that's precisely your plan, Molly. I don't know. Daisy doesn't really wait a minute. Yes, yeah, she does. She would totally take over the world. This door looks like it's locked. I'll have to find a secret entrance into her secret lab inside her brain. <laughs> Ooh, a maze! Now remember, Molly, we can't touch anything. We might mess up Daisy's brain forever. Oh, man, that would be a pity. <laughs> Molly, you take it seriously. Okay, fine. Wow, look at this place. Brains. Um... Hi. Ah, uh, brains. Did he just say brains? I think he did. Oh my gosh. Is he turning into a... I think he might be turning into a zombie. Ah! No wonder Daisy wants to have this secret lab. She's going to save the entire human race from the zombie apocalypse. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess her work is pretty important. This is why she wants to do her homework all the time. She has to save the human race. Well, let's see if there's any other zombies in here. I don't think I want to go meet any zombies. He wasn't totally zombie yet. What's this? Oh, she does some science experiments in here. OMG! She made a food machine! Whoa! Now my sister should do homework all the time if it means she's going to make me delicious tacos. Molly, I can't believe the world is going to be taken over by zombies. Not if we have Daisy on our side. She looks like she's going to be a brilliant scientist someday. No kidding, Molly. I don't see any other zombies. That might be a good sign. Yeah, it probably is. Whoa, I feel kind of funny. Oh no, are you a zombie too? No, I think we're going to the next place in our brain. Molly, you look so different. You look amazing. You look different too. What's going on? Ballet Academy? It looks like Daisy wants to be a famous dancer. Whoa, Jules! Molly, don't touch any of those. We can't collect those in our brain. Remember, we could mess up Daisy forever. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, Ballet Academy. 
wow, this place looks amazing. Yeah, and it looks like the place she wants to come to study dance. So wait a minute. My sister wants to be a famous scientist that saves the world from zombies, and she wants to be a famous ballerina? Well, I guess she dreams big. Holy guacamole, this place is amazing. Ooh, look at all the treats. Ooh, donuts, yes. Um, ooh, what are those? They look like some sort of sweet treat, like a tart, and sandwiches, and lemonade. Okay, I can see why she wants to come here. <laughs> I would too, this place looks delicious. Hmm, I want to eat everything. Molly, what are you doing? You can't eat anything in Daisy's brain. But I'm hungry. Molly, that's actually in your brain. You're not actually hungry in here. Well, yes, I am. I'm very hungry. Ooh, look at this dress. This is beautiful. That's probably the one that Daisy wants to wear on her award-winning night. You know, where she wins the medal for, for being the world's best dancer? Wow, she must practice a lot if she wants us to be her dream. I bet she does. She's an overachiever at everything. Let's go check out the dance hall and see what that's like. Okay. Wow, this school is very prestigious. I guess so. Now I understand why Daisy always wants to do the dance competitions. She always wants to practice and she goes to bed early and she makes sure she exercises and she only eats healthy food. <sighs> Her life is exhausting. <laughs> yeah, but she's going to dream big. She's going to do amazing things. Yeah, I think you're right. Whoa! Whoa! I'm being, I'm being tossed around into another part of Daisy's brain! Wait a minute. Daisy has the aquarium on her mind? Yeah, it looks like it. Maybe she really likes aquariums. May I have your attention, please? We're about to do a presentation on ocean conservation. Um, that will begin in 15 minutes. Ocean conservation? What is this place? This is a sad reality. Climate change is killing our beautiful reefs. Oh, wow. Oceans are essential to life on Earth. They cover more than 70% of the planet's surface, regulate the climate, and supply oxygen we need to survive. Key factors contributing to the problem are overfishing, illegal and destructive fishing, as well as climate change. Oh my gosh, I think Daisy also really cares about the ocean and its animals. Huh, yeah, it seems that she does. Because she seems to have an aquarium in her brain? <laughs> I knew something smelled a little fishy about her. Oh, very funny, Molly. <laughs> this isn't just a game. It's happening in real life. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. I guess I should be more supportive when my sister tries to learn about these things. Oh, look at the cute little fish. Yeah, they're all going to be dead if we don't help. Wow, rookie, that was harsh. I know, but Daisy has a point. She's working hard to try to make a difference on this planet. Yeah, but it doesn't hurt to have a break once in a while. Well, I take a break if you two would ever get out of my brain. Well, I guess that's our cue to get on out of here. Yeah, before we get big again and then, uh-oh. Yeah, that would be disastrous. <laughs> well, fish, it was nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you. Wait a minute. The fish and Daisy's brain talk? Um, yeah, that's a little weird. I don't think it's weird at all. I'm a fish. I'm a fish. I'm a fish, 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 fish. Okay, I'm out of here. Jeepers creepers, Brookie. No wonder Daisy wants to work all the time. She has some really big dreams. Yeah, important ones too. I can't even believe how big her dreams are. Yeah, she's going to have to work really hard. Yeah. Molly, why aren't you getting any bigger? Because she drank too much of the potion. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm going to be tiny for a while. <laughs> this could be fun. Do you want me to go inside your brain next, Brookie? No, definitely not. I don't want you to see what's in there. Why? Do you have a lot of earwax in your ears? Ew, no. <laughs> This pizza smells delicious. I'm so glad I decided to order it before Brookie got here to hang out. She's gonna love it. Wow. It smells so good. I I'm just gonna have like a piece of it before she gets here because I'm so hungry. Ooh, la la. Look at all that pepperoni and cheese. Oh yeah, definitely gonna have a slice of this. Mm. That is so good. Mm. I'm just gonna have like one more slice. 
Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I just... Mm. There'll be plenty left over for Brookie. Mm. So good. Mm. Delicious pizza. Hey, Molly. Oh, um, um, hi, Brookie. Uh, that pizza smells delicious. Uh, where is it? Uh oh. Um, uh, Molly, did you eat all the pizza before I got here? I'm so hungry. <gasps> well, we've been best friends since kindergarten. I'm pretty sure. Correction, Molly. We've been best friends since preschool. Ow. Apparently, all of your brain cells are currently in your stomach. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? But anyway, you've known me since uh, preschool, and you know that um, basically I'm going to eat everything in sight. It's just my personality. Ugh, Molly, I'm so hungry. Okay, um, well, you can have something like a piece of fruit. I wanted pizza. Ugh. I just sometimes wonder how we're even best friends. Uh -oh. What? You don't want to be my best friend anymore? Ah. No, Molly, I didn't say I didn't want to be your best friend. It's just sometimes when you do things like this, you don't save me even one slice, even one bite of pizza. I just wonder, do you want to be my BFF for life? <gasps> of course I do. I want to be your BFF forever and ever and ever. <laughs> I can just see the future now. Why isn't Brookie picking up? She's supposed to be here already. Ugh, I guess we're not going shopping at Rockstar. Let me try calling her again. Uh, hello? Brookie, it's me, Molly. You were supposed to be at my house so we could go shopping at Rockstar? I'm sorry, Molly. I'm just not really feeling that good today. <sighs> what? Every single time we've been trying to hang out in the, like, last two weeks, you're never feeling well. Are you okay? Are you dying? What? No. I'm just really tired. Oh, I'm just so sleepy. Have you been working late at night or something? No, my job's been fine. I'm just really, really tired. I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay, Molly? Uh, okay. Bye. What is going on with her? I'm grown up now, but like she just never wants to hang out lately. I'm just going to show up at her house and surprise her with some stuff that will hopefully make her feel better. Brookie, it's me, Molly. What? What are you doing here? Ugh, I'm so tired. I wasn't expecting anybody to come over today. I brought you some flowers. I thought they'd cheer you up. Wow. Oh, that's really sweet of you, Molly, but I just need to go back to sleep. <coughs> What you need is some good food, and I brought you some. Oh, ew, take that away from me. It smells terrible. What? Oh, I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, my stomach. Uh-oh. Well, I guess what I brought her really didn't cheer her up. Maybe she's got some sort of stomach bug. Bricky, are you okay? Yes, just go away. Oh, my stomach hurts, and I need to go back to sleep. Okay, well, I'll just leave the takeout in your fridge just in case you want it later. I won't want it later. Oh, it smelled terrible. <gasps> Since when doesn't she like takeout? That doesn't sound like Brookie at all. Brookie, I'll call you later and um, I'll check up on you, okay? Okay, thanks, Molly. Bye. Uh-oh. Bye. Oh, I'm so worried about her. Honey, I'm home. There you are. Honey, what's wrong? I don't know. I just... I went over to see... Well, actually, I do know. <laughs> you always do, and you're going to complain about it in three, two, one. What? I don't complain. Okay, yeah, I complain a little, but only when we're out of pizza. Honey, what's going on? Talk to me. I went over to see Brookie today because she never wants to hang out anymore. And, and I thought maybe she didn't want me to be my BFF anymore, and... What? You guys have been BFF since kindergarten. Correction! Preschool! We've been BFF since preschool! Okay, so I'm sure it's not that she doesn't want to be your BFF. Even when you do eat all of the pizza. What? I haven't done that in years! You did that last Friday. Ow! Um, yeah, I did eat all the pizza on you. Oops, sort of my thing. Anyway, I went to see her and she's really feeling sick for real. Really? How long has she been feeling this way? Huh, I think like a couple of weeks. Whoa, has she seen a doctor? No, she's being really stubborn. Today I took her over some takeout and she didn't even want to eat her favorite takeout. 
She almost threw up when she smelled it. Yeah. Oh, something doesn't sound there, right there, honey. Well, come on, let's get started on dinner, and we can talk about this some more. Thanks, Luke. You're a great husband. I try, honey. Even when you do eat all the pizza on me. <laughs> Oopsie. Mmm, that smells delicious. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Honey, even the smell of food can't cheer you up? Wow, you must really be sad. I'm just really worried about Brookie. What's wrong with her? I'm sure it's nothing, honey. People get sick and then they get better. And sometimes they don't. I know exactly what you need to turn that frown upside down. A dance party! Come on, dance party in the kitchen, honey. Dance party! I don't know. I'm not really in the mood for a kitchen dance party. Come on. Just move those legs. You're going to feel better. Come on, honey. Come on. You're right. A dance party is exactly what I needed. <laughs> See, honey, our kitchen dance parties are so best. What dance move is that? I call it the too tired after work zombie dance. <laughs> I like your zombie dance. It's adorable. Whoa. Ugh. My stomach kind of hurts. What? Oh, gosh. I hope you didn't pick up what Brookie had. <gasps> nah. I wasn't even near her long enough. Ugh. Maybe it's what I ate for lunch. Be right back. Ugh. I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna... <laughs> Honey, are you okay in there? Yeah, I'm just throwing up a lot. Oh, boy. Honey, I think you may have caught what Brookie has. Ugh. I don't know, but huh, no dinner for me. <gasps> oh, honey, do you need some 7-Up or something? No, I don't want to eat or drink anything. Honey, um, do you think that maybe, uh, you could be, uh... What? Trying to get rid of the bean burrito I had for lunch? Possibly. No, honey, you eat bean burritos all the time. Since you were a kid, all they do is make you fart. <laughs> this seems a lot worse. I think maybe you should take a pregnancy test. Say what? Nah, can't be. Um, I don't know. I think maybe you should. I'll go down to the drugstore and get one. You stay here. Like I had another choice. Ugh, I feel terrible. Ow! Molly, I'm back. Okay, go take the test, okay? Huh. <sighs> I think you're being ridiculous right now, but okay. Probably just ate something that didn't agree with me. What's it say, honey? What's it say? Am I going to be a dad? What's it say? It says, um, you're being impatient. You have to wait two minutes. I wouldn't get your hopes up. I don't think I'm going to have a baby. I don't know, but what if it says yes? Diapers, honey. And and we need a crib. And... Uh-oh. He's freaking out over nothing. I'm sure it's just something I ate. Okay, I see one line. That means not pregnant. Let me see that thing. Honey, what's that really faint second line? What? What? No, that's just, that's nothing. It's a fluke. Honey, no. You are pregnant. Wait. What? I wasn't expecting this. I know. Me either. We're going to have a baby. Aren't you excited? I, I have to tell Brookie. Honey, it's pretty late at night and she hasn't been feeling good. I don't know if I'd go right now. Okay, yeah. I told her I'd call and check on her. And maybe she'd meet me tomorrow at the park or something. I can't believe it! We're gonna have a baby! Wow! I'm still in shock! Holy guacamole! Hello? Brookie, hey! How are you feeling? I feel like a tiny bit better. But I'm just still really tired. Well, hopefully you're getting better. Hey, look, I have something I need to talk to you about. Will you meet me at the park tomorrow at, like, lunch time? Sure, of course, as long as I can get out of bed. Oh my gosh, Brookie, I hope you do feel all better. Try to get a good night's sleep, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, Molly, bye. Bye! Brookie, over here! Over here! Hey, Brookie, you look so much better. Are you feeling better? 
Yeah, I feel a little better. I mean, I was sick this morning, but I'm I'm feeling a lot better now. Oh, I'm so glad. You look so amazing today, Molly. It's like you're glowing. <laughs> I sort of feel like I'm glowing. Yeah, I'm just starting to feel like human again, so hopefully I get my glow back soon. You will, Bricky. You're gorgeous. Of course you're gonna get your glow back. I'm just glad you're starting to feel better. Maybe you should go to the doctor. Um, that's the thing I did. And I have some news to tell you. You do? Well, I have some news to tell you, too. Um, why didn't we meet at Brooks Diner? That's our favorite place to go. Because your stomach was so weird and food was making you so nauseous. I thought meeting at the park was probably a better idea. That way you didn't barf on the waitress. <laughs> Good point. So who's going to tell the other one their news first? Why don't we tell each other at the same time? Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. I'm pregnant! Wait, what did you just say? I said I'm pregnant. Did you just say I'm pregnant? We're not supposed to be pregnant at the same time. Um, yeah, but we apparently are. This was supposed to be my big news. This was supposed to be my big news. How will you be in the delivery room with me? I can't do this all by myself. Well, your husband will be there. Yeah, but he's not my BFF. Besides, he'll just be like, well, you're okay, you're okay. But I won't be okay. I need you to be there. Well, I'm sorry, but I'll probably be busy having my own baby. Uh-oh. And that means you won't be there. I know. And, and, I mean, you're supposed to be at my baby shower. And you're supposed to be at mine. What if we have our baby showers on the same day? Then we can't go to each other's. Molly, uh, I think maybe we could have like a joint baby shower. Really? Wait a minute. This could be the best time of our life. I mean, every moment of pregnancy, we could celebrate together. <gasps> OMG, it was like fate made us pregnant at the same time. And our babies can even be BFFs. I know, right? This is going to be the most amazing nine months of our lives. Except for all the throwing up. That part's not very fun. Yeah, yeah but we can eat snacks together and pick up baby clothes together and design the nursery together and have a baby shower together. It's going to be so amazing. Yeah, and I can't wait for our babies to be best friends. Me either. When is this baby going to get out of me? I feel gigantic. I'm the size of a house. Wow. What? No, you're not, Molly. I think you look amazing. Look at me. I'm four times the size that I normally am. It's like it's like this baby just keeps telling me to eat and eat and eat. Don't I know it. Luke, bring more snacks. Okay, I'm just a little tired. I mean, you guys have been having me run and get you snacks all day. Well, it's your day off. I don't see Brookie and I getting a day off from being pregnant. So, uh, why don't you bring more snacks already? Oh, they're so grumpy. And there's two of them. How did these girls get pregnant at the same time? It's the worst. Ugh, what is he talking about? I think this chocolate ice cream is not all that great. Bring some of the strawberry. Ugh, if this baby doesn't come out soon, I give up. I quit at being pregnant. I don't think it works that way, Molly. It works that way. I do not want to be pregnant anymore. I don't have any strawberry ice cream, but look at this. I got some delicious takeout from Brooke's Diner. Ugh, the baby doesn't want to eat that. Try again. Oh, I can't wait till the baby comes. It'll be cute. Yeah, and then you'll have diapers. It'll be better than having to bring you all snacks on my day off. <laughs> That's what he thinks. He's never had a baby before, but he's about to learn that the baby cries all night, the baby needs diapers, baby needs bottles. Uh-oh. Well, I for one am excited. I cannot wait to meet my little sweetheart. Me either. Mostly though, because I just don't want to be pregnant anymore. Okay, Molly, and um, I'm just going to need you to sign this paperwork. What? My sister's my doctor? Of course, in this vision of the future, Daisy's a doctor because she's so smart. 
<laughs> Were you expecting me to be an ignoramus? I don't think so, Molly. Okay, so now what I'm going to need to do is sign these forms and... Ah, my stomach! Oh, I don't think there's any time for her to sign those forms. I think you need to push, honey. Push! Yes, Molly, you can sign the forms later. Push! Okay. Ugh. Push harder, Molly. Whoops, pushed a little too hard. Oh, ew! Oh, ew. Molly, you made a giant stink cloud in here. You're gonna have your baby born into that sticky smell. Oh, that's so Molly. Sorry, um, I didn't mean to, but I had a bean burrito for lunch. I didn't know I was gonna have a baby today. Okay, Molly, I need you to push. Come on, push! Huh, huh. Don't push that hard. Just a little push. Just a, just a little push, please. Oh my gosh, I'm an auntie. I'm a daddy. I'm a mom. I can't wait to see Brookie. Look at you, you're so adorable. Hi, little girl, I'm your mommy. You have to go meet your auntie Brookie. She's gonna love you. Brookie? <gasps> oh my God, Brookie, you had your baby. You had your baby! It's it's a girl? It's a boy? You were supposed to have a girl! Well, you could have had a boy! Now they can't be BFFs! What? But, but, but... Um, did any of you think that maybe they could get married one day? Oh, yeah. OMG, Brookie! <gasps> Our babies could fall in love! Oh, that's so adorable! Aww. I'm so glad you're my BFF, Molly. I'm so glad you're my BFF. Remember that time a million years ago when you ate all the pizza and I wondered if we'd be friends forever? Yeah, I remember. Well, scratch that because we're gonna be BFFs forever and ever and ever. I know. And then our babies are gonna love each other forever too. It's the best life ever. <laughs> Family, is everyone ready to go to the water park? The water park! This sounds amazing! I can't believe our parents are so amazing that they're taking us to the water park! Yeah, guys, this is going to be such a fun family day. I couldn't agree more. Now, let's see. Where's my bag? Here it is! Molly, what did you pack in there? Just a bathing suit and a couple of things I'm going to need at the water park. That's a lot of stuff, Mom. Well, I guess Molly doesn't pack light. All right, Dad's going to get the car, so we should get going. Sounds amazing. Let's do this. Come on, family. It's time to go. What? A limo? Holy guacamole, Dad. Wow, you rented a limo for us? Dan, this is amazing. I've never ridden in a limo before. This is so cool. I know, right, Molly? Let's go to the water park. <laughs> Dan, you're driving the limo? Yeah, I rented it so I could drive it. <laughs> this is so cool. Ah, this is the life. I could do this every single day. Yeah, except for we'd miss school. Oh, no. We'd miss all the tests and homework and pop quizzes and ugh. Math problem after math problem after math problem! I like school, Molly. I don't know what you're talking about. I'd be sad if I missed it. You wouldn't rather stay at the beach every day? Hey, girls. Are you having a fun time? Yeah, we're about to go down some water slides. Ooh, sounds super fun. <laughs> I broke out of jail <laughs> because the police officer Dan was on vacation today and no one was watching me. <laughs> and look, this house is completely empty. They're probably on vacation. <laughs> look at this place. Perfect to rob. Now let's find the family safe. No. Ooh, maybe it's in the washing machine. Sometimes people store all their money in there because they think it's gonna it's gonna trick us criminals, but it never does. We know all the places to look. Ooh, their couch is very comfy. Ah, those prison beds just don't do 
any good for one's back. <laughs> Seriously, I've had a backache every single day because the bed is made of bricks. All right, enough resting. Time to go find this safe. Hmm, I wonder which room it could be in. Here it is! Ha 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 ha! Time to do a little breaking and entering. What? What was that? OMG! There's an alarm on this house! Ah, Dan, we should do this more often. I know, we don't take vacations from life ever! Yeah, and adulting is really hard. Oh my gosh, Dan! The superhero alarm is going off! Oh, probably a chipmunk stepped on the alarm or something. A chipmunk? No! This is serious and wait! The address is coming in. It's at our house? Seriously? Okay, we've got to go tell the girls. We're, we'll be right back. Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! Molly, your eyes are open! You're cheating! <laughs> Oh, brother. Girls, uh, your mom and I have to go, um, uh, get some more hamburgers. Yeah, we're starving. Dad, you ate like four hamburgers right now. I know, but I'm still hungry. We're just gonna run down the street and get some more from the hot dog shop, okay? We'll be right back. Um, okay. You girls be good and stay safe. We will. Okay, Molly, this time when you're playing Marco Polo, try not to cheat. No promises. Uh, let's get going, Laura. They're going to steal everything. But we're not even wearing our superhero costumes. I know, but I don't think we have time. I mean, do you want them to steal all the money in our safe? Well, I guess not. Okay, this one time we don't have to wear our superhero outfits, but next time we need to. Yeah, the thing is, is I ate a lot of cheeseburgers and I don't think I fit in mine. Oh, Dan. <laughs> I've got all their money now. Hold it right there, criminal. Yeah, criminal, hold it right there. What? I thought you were on vacation. We were, but, um, uh, we got a notification that you broke into our house. Yeah, it's called technology. Jeez, how long have you been in prison since the dinosaur age? People actually have alarms on their house now. All you want to do is talk, talk, talk. And all I want to do is get away with your money and spend, spend, spend. You need to hold it right there. Wait, hold it right there. You're not going anywhere with our money, criminal. That's right. We're superheroes. <laughs> superheroes? Are you kidding me? Mm. Mm, this is delicious. Seriously? You're eating a banana? What are you doing? Well, I just figured you old people who claim to be superheroes are going to take a minute and I need a snack. What? We're not old. I'm going to get you. Did you just throw your plate and your banana peel on the floor? Rude! I just cleaned my house! You're going down! Oh! Oh, my back! <laughs> Told you you were old. Dan, did you seriously just slip on a banana peel? Well, I'm sorry, but it was really slippery and I didn't see it there. <laughs> Look at all this money. Dan? Dan, are, are, are you okay? I'm not sure I can move. Laura, we actually are old! We're not old, Dan. You're just out of shape. Stop eating so many cheeseburgers and go to the gym. Whatever. I mean, I just feel so old. That criminal said I was old. <laughs> Dan, snap out of it. You're a superhero. Now go put on your costume and let's, let's take this criminal down. Dan, what are you wearing? It's my new superhero costume. Dan, we're not ninjas. But ninjas are cool right now. They're the in thing. I, I want to be a ninja. But you're not actually a ninja. But but I want to be a ninja. Fine, whatever. Just wear the ninja costume. At least no one can see who you are. Yeah, but the criminal kind of already knows who we are. But the rest of the town doesn't. Ha 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 ha. My getaway motorcycle. Because I didn't have a car. Stop right there, mister. Huh? What? Oh, you finally got your outfit on, huh? Too bad you still look ridiculous. Ha 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 ha. Rude! I don't look ridiculous. This superhero costume is amazing. 
Aha, uh -huh, sure it is. What do you want? I want to get going and spend all your money. You aren't going anywhere with my money. We'll see about that. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about it. hi -ya! Whoa. Old lady can do a backflip, huh? Quit calling me old lady or you're going to get a taste of what what this lady is made of. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got to come up with better one-liners as a superhero. Yeah, you don't say. <laughs> hey, are you stealing my daughter's motorcycle? Uh-huh. Pretty much. <laughs> See you later. I'm going to spend all this money. It's going to be great. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Stop right there, criminal. What? Get out of the road. I don't think so. <laughs> You're a goner now. What are you, some sort of old guy ninja? I'm not old, okay? Stop calling me old. I mean, I'm trying my best here, all right? Now give me the money. I don't think so. <laughs> Thanks for the monster truck. Ah, he stole my truck. Get back here. Laura, watch out. He's got a big truck. Ah, ah, Dan. Wait, I, I, I'm riding with the criminal? How did that happen? You jumped in the car with me. What are you doing? We're going to go for a joy ride, little criminal. Hey, look on the wheel. Hey, stop it. I'm trying to steal your money. What, what's going on? Hey, stop it. Ah, ah. Whoa, Marty, you see those guys over there? What's going on? I don't know, but it looks like Dad's truck just crashed into the water. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, go this way. Look, go on the wheel. Stop pushing the gas, you crazy woman. Ah, you're going to run us right up that cliff. Ah! Oh, 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 crazy lady. Crazy lady. <laughs> now I finally make my getaway. <laughs> Man, that lady was totally crazy. Stop it right there, criminal! Oh, I fell again. <laughs> You're not gonna stop me. You can't even stand on your own two feet. Yes, I can. Hi! Yeah! Oh! You karate chopped me! I'll be taking that bag of money now. Oh, I can't believe you karate chopped me. Good job, Superhero Dan. We've taken this criminal down. Now it's time to take him downtown. That's right. If you didn't know it, I'm a real-life superhero, too, because I'm a cop. And I'm a real-life superhero because I'm a nurse. So, looks like you've had two real-life superheroes and two amazing costumes superhero people yeah i really do need to come up with better one-liners yeah you really do <laughs> you were teasing me about my ninja costume but you really <laughs> you really need to work on your superhero honey whatever i'm trying my best can we talk about me for a minute oh the karate chop it hurts so bad that's what you get for being a naughty naughty person now off to jail you go I could still get away. I don't want to go back to prison. I still could get away. We can walk faster than you can crawl. <laughs> yeah, right, old lady. You can't keep up with me. Uh-huh, sure. Looks like I'm keeping up with you pretty good. Nope, I'm going to escape any minute now. Any minute. Uh-huh, yep. Keep telling yourself that, criminal. Back in jail. Right where you belong, criminal. That's right. You're no match for the mom and dad superheroes. Ooh, I kind of like that. Mom and dad. I mean, yeah, we are old, but let's own it. Let me out, please. This bed is so uncomfortable. It gives me a backache. Too bad, criminal. You do the crime. You do the time. But I have to sleep in the same room where the potty is. That's not right. Uh-huh, sure. All the superheroing made me kind of hungry. Dan, you've eaten five cheeseburgers today. You're not going to fit in that ninja costume soon. Yeah, Dan, you pig. Listen, criminal, I'm on the outside and you're... Yeah, I'm on the outside and you're on the inside. Sorry, I was thinking about my burger and I I, I forgot what I was going to say. Wow, and you said that I don't have good one-liners. And why are you wearing two pairs of glasses? Listen, criminal, I have trouble seeing without my glasses, but also I don't want people to know who I am. So, you know, this is what I wear. Well, you both look ridiculous and old! K 
Keep talking. Blah, 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 blah. Criminal, you're in there and we're out here. Now, come on, Laura. Let's go back to the water park. Sounds good to me, Dan. Whoa, Daisy. It says a criminal broke out of out of jail today and, and they robbed a house in our neighborhood. Wow, Molly. Don't care. I'm on vacation. Daisy, have you ever noticed that mom and dad kind of always disappear as soon as there's some sort of crime going on? You don't think they're actually the criminals, do you? Molly! <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Well, my other guess was that they were, well, the superheroes that we always hear about in town rescuing everyone. <laughs> That's even funnier than them being, well, criminals. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, they always disappear whenever crime happens. That's probably just a coincidence. Molly, quit being so paranoid to get back in the water. <sighs> this has been the best day ever. I just wish Mom and Dad didn't so spend so long in the cheeseburger shop. I mean, how long does it take to get a cheeseburger? I don't know, maybe they had to make them or something. Yeah, true. Ah, <sighs> Dad's always thinking about his stomach. You must take after him. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Hey, guys, we're back from rest... I mean, from <laughs> getting cheeseburgers. Huh, we wondered where you guys went. Uh, Dad, why are you wearing that ninja thing on your head? What? Oh, uh, uh... Dan? Oops, I forgot. <laughs> oh, I just got this at the cheeseburger shop. They were selling costumes for Halloween, and I thought, oh, my God, I have to have that one. Dad, it's summer. Halloween's not for months. I know, but you know how much I love Halloween. Uh-huh. Sure. I still think something fishy is going on here. Fishy? Speaking of fishy, look at there's a big fish in the water. Where? I don't see it. Swam away when you got in because you scaled it. Well, did you girls have a great day? I sure did. Do you think we can come back to the water park tomorrow? Well, I'm not really sure, Molly, because we have to get back to work. Well, maybe we could come on Saturday. Um, we'll have to see, girls. I think I have a, a shift at the hospital. Oh, man, you guys work all the time. Yeah, she does have a point. Come on, Laura, what do you say we come back tomorrow? Well, I think we could take the day off from being heroes for once. Heroes? I knew it! Um, I mean the fact that I'm a nurse and your dad's a police officer? What are you talking about, Molly? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess you're right. You are real-life heroes. Exactly. Exactly.